As far as FedNow, Ripple, and XRP are concerned, what is the truth? However, we are going to be discussing it in the future. Going forward, we are going to deal with it. Everyone, please make yourselves at home on the Coins Alert channel. Those of you who are new to the channel, I hope that by the time you reach the conclusion of this video, you will have subscribed to the channel. In addition, if you are not currently following me on all of the social media networks, you should start doing so right away. You may ensure that you are gaining access to updates regarding cryptocurrency 24 hours a day, seven days a week by clicking on the links that are provided in the description below. Join the free Discord server as well, and you will be joining more than 6,000 other people on the path to achieving financial independence through cryptocurrency. And with that, let's go back to December 2021, when I published this piece, and I mentioned that the FedNow service is currently being tested on Volante Tech, which is also making use of the Ripple processor module. This simplifies the process of integrating the real-time settlement of global money, which simplifies the integration process. I was hoping you would tell me that the Federal Reserve does not use. Ripple it in conjunction with XRP through a third-party application that is on FedNow, also known as the Volante Technology Integration, FedNow is able to readily expose its service to Ripple it. This raises the question of whether or not FedNow might easily utilize Ripple it. Hedera with DropCC can be employed with FedNow in the exact same manner as described before. These third-party players are able to connect to FedNow with relative ease. In addition, I stated in July of the previous year that an excessive number of XRP holders are concentrating on FedNow as a price driver of XRP, but this is not something that is actually the case. FedNow is a key that opens a door of possibility for the next generation of financial and payment technologies to be realized in when it is implemented. For the purpose of accommodating this revolutionary technology, the infrastructure is currently undergoing upgrades. The significance of FedNow lies not in the fact that it will pump XRP, but rather in the fact that it makes it possible for Ripple solutions that will utilize the potential of XRP to be incorporated into the financial system. Forget about thinking about prices instead, think on how innovations, adoption, and change can be implemented. Furthermore, due to the fact that this is the new, this is the very first new payment rail in the past four decades. The new payment rails are beginning to be implemented all around the world, and we are beginning to see them being. Implemented. Taking a step back in time, I would like to continue to make use of Volante since Volante is a really important actor in all of this. Indeed, it does have ties that can be traced all the way back to Ripple. Volante, a FedNow service provider and a partner of Ripple, has announced that customers will be able to use XRP on its platform because it is connected to Ripple and Volante has been selected as the cloud-based Fedwire service provider for operations in the United States. There are Volante technologies available to us if we take a closer look at this via connection with Ripple. One of the most reputable global suppliers of payment solutions is settling transfers using XRP rather than traditional currencies. And here we have the tech company making the announcement on Twitter after an inquiring user of XRP wanted to know whether or not XRP will be made available as a settlement mechanism for First American Trust FSB, which has just selected Volante Technologies US Fedwire as a service while it is in the cloud. Due to the fact that this platform is tied to Ripple, Volante responded that consumers are able to use XRP because of this connection, as well as if we come over here. Furthermore, Volante discusses the use of their cooperation with Ripple. Additionally, customers of Volante can gain access to XRP by means of this partnership, and they can also choose to use it as a service provider for FedNow and Fedwire applications. Take a look at it. The specific products provide a great deal of detail and depth. While I am aware that you are working on a great deal of new things, I am also aware that there are some things that you would like to share with us, certainly. Today, I believe that we have released one more product that is advantageous to the most recent technology, which is blockchain technologies, in conjunction with these open ledger technologies. We have previously done so, I believe it has only been available for the past few months with one of the companies that goes by the name Ripple. In addition, we have already formed a partnership with them, and we have a product that is operational. We have demonstrated it to you here and we are going to demonstrate it to a significant number of our clients as well and we are getting a lot of nice traction there which is suggesting that customers have looked at it and they are saying that this is amazing because when they are thinking about these things and we show them the answer they really appreciate it of course as you indicated blockchain is receiving a lot of publicity and i believe that a lot of people who are still very much affiliated with bitcoin and cryptocurrencies might not have given the correct image of blockchain 
This is something that I find extremely interesting. Therefore, it is really energizing to learn that there are additional applications and financial services available and that you have actually introduced some of those to the market. I'd want to hear a little bit more about this. Due to the fact that blockchain has been linked to Bitcoin, you are completely correct. There are a lot of individuals who have not been looking at other things, but I believe that the knowledge of blockchain technology is becoming a little more mainstream today and people are learning more about how it can be used. Beginning with the securities market and moving on to the payments market, settlements, and everything else. I believe that as we move forward, there will be a great deal of enthusiasm around that, as well as a great deal of new players. Eventually, there will be a shakeup, and then some of the leading players will settle down as the leading leaders. In addition, what we are attempting to do is that it is of no consequence which technologies we choose to use or which vendor you choose to work with. Our architecture is constructed in such a manner that we are, I would like to use this phrase called future-proof, which will help you as the technology or industry changes, but you will be able to address it very, very agilely to address those needs as you move ahead. This will allow you to meet those demands as you move forward. Yes, this technology is designed to be used in the future. They wish to innovate in real time in the event that changes need to be made, and they believe that distributed ledger. This technology DLT could facilitate such adjustments. In addition to being able to be upgraded, things can be built and things can be pushed, it is possible to push updates. Distributed ledger technology makes it possible for these payment providers and applications to be feature-proof. For this reason, I take a critical look at this as well as at the major players in the industry. Volante is undeniably a massive entity. The true size of Volante is being completely disregarded by everyone. In the world of finance, they are an enormous behemoth. Additionally, we have the 2023 Quicker Payments Barometer, which demonstrates that there is a growing demand in quicker payments. FedNow is soon going to become a member of the clearinghouse which will serve as a gateway to instant. Account to account transfers 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. It is quite obvious that financial institutions are placing an emphasis on interoperability as part of their journey toward modernizing payments. According to Deepak Guptyuputa, who is the head of payments as a service at Volante, we have this information. It should not come as a surprise that the barometer indicates that the most favored method of connectivity is through the utilization of a service provider that is capable of rapidly connecting different networks to their respective institutions. Guess who is capable of doing that? Vulnerable. When it comes to speedier payments, Volante is one of the most important integrators in the industry. Now, in addition to that, we have that discussion on X in this particular instance. Matthew Lin Y is the one who sent this. Hello, Volante Tech, we have you here. Are there any plans to use XRP as a potential settlement method for this platform? The platform that we offer, Volante, can also be utilized to settle transactions using XRP through our connection to Ripple. On the other hand, this is still the case today. There are even central banks that have trimmed, such as the Bank of England, the Federal Reserve, and the Saudi Arabian Monetary Authority. This is happening over here. Cooperate it with Ripple in relation to the update of domestic payments. In addition, this is further evidence that Ripple has already collaborated and worked with the Federal Reserve at some point in the past. Furthermore, this was accomplished by means of, um, I believe, the Faster Payments Council. All of this is crucial due to the fact that these are links. These are significant linkages that can be traced back to the big stakeholders, more specifically the significant central banks, which are banks, which are currently considering modifying the infrastructure by introducing digital railroads. Additionally, we have FedNow, which was a strategy that was intended. It has now been released. The trades take place. The DLT platforms are in this category. Those are the ones that have their connections made. In addition to being able to be settled through Ripplenet, IBM Worldwire, Center, and Stablecoin Network, these are the ones that are connected to the FedNow service. Take, for example, the fact that the integrations are already in place as we observe what is taking on here. It is already possible to attach the rails. In reality, the only thing we are waiting for is regulation.